Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing today? Well, I just got the first haircut of 2023. We're out doing our first NECA hunting video of 2023. We're out doing our first video in general of 2023. We got the new setup here uh, of 2023, the new phone setup. Uh, I might have to do some adjustments. Um, I'm not sure how well it really looks till I actually edit the video. It looks okay in the camera here, but you know, we'll see. It's a work in progress. This whole type of system is a new thing for me, but I do like it because I feel like I don't have to sit in a parking lot talking to people about the stuff we saw. Oh, got a car coming quick. Uh, I can just drive and talk, you know what I mean? So I think it's gonna work out a lot better in the long run. Uh, but right now, it's just something to kind of get used to. I'm not really too used to uh, to driving and talking in the video and stuff, so it's kind of a kind of a new thing for me. But anyway, we're gonna head out. Uh, I was sick with COVID, which most people probably know if you saw my video. And I haven't done NECA hunting videos. I haven't really been out and about done really any videos in like almost two weeks. Uh, except for maybe one or two, but they weren't out and about NECA hunting videos because I kind of had to hunker down, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, we're going to go out now. It's been a couple weeks since I've been in any of the targets. See if any of those ETs are out. That's one of the things I'm really looking forward to. Another thing I like about this being up here uh, and talking to it is when you're sitting in a parking lot and you're holding the phone in your hand, people think you're freaking crazy. But here you just, it's just like you're talking to somebody on speakerphone you know it's a very common thing to do so uh people don't look at you like you're uh crazy so that's nice so yeah anyway guys we're gonna head over we're heading over to target right now we're gonna go there we might see what kind of movies are out if we can find anything good we're gonna hit up a couple targets maybe a walmart and uh let's see what we can find so uh let's get going guys look at this snow guys look how much snow i don't know how well it transpires to video but it is crazy how high these snow drifts are and how much snow we got it is absolutely insane oh car coming it's just nuts i mean it's just ridiculously high snow drifts but it's kind of funny all right guys well we're at target we're gonna park here let's run in here and see what we can find all right well they definitely have more stuff here than they have in the past but Right off the bat, I don't see any of the ETs or anything like that, but this they've definitely got more than what they did last time I was here. This Freddy Krueger, they got these. Somebody bought some of these. There was only, there was like four or five of those before. So somebody bought those. Got some Friday the 13th. We got some Ninja Turtles. You hold that too. Got a couple of these. This is kind of cool. Kind of like that. I've never, uh, I've never seen this one here before. Got some gremlin, some trick or treat, crap ton of Halloween too. Um, starting to see these Franken signs everywhere now. It's kind of cool. It's got these little Star Wars enamel pins, which are pretty awesome. Got some. Uh, Oh yeah, some Michael. Oh, that's weird. That's a new one. I've never seen that one before. I don't know what I think about that. It's kind of cool. It's a Halloween. Oops. It's Halloween too. I'm not really sure what I think about that. That's kind of creepy. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get that. That's kind of a kind of weird looking. Otherwise, it doesn't really look like they have too much of what I am really looking for, but they definitely have more here than they've had in a long time, which is promising. Uh, they have this, which could be kind of cool. I've kind of always wanted to get this one, but there's actually another release of this one that's got the balloons that I think is a lot cooler. Got a little ghost face, some more Ninja Turtles. I'm a nightmare right now, I'm sure I'm still looking for the Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees one. I never seem to see that one anywhere. I see the Freddy Kruegers everywhere. Got some turtles, gremlins. Yeah, so not a bad start. Unfortunately, none of the ET or anything like that, but definitely a lot more stuff here than there has been in the past. So that's a, that's a promising sign. So I don't know if there's really anything else. Um, wow, this is kind of cool. 
the He-Man collection. I bet you there's probably a, there's probably a Blu-ray release of this somewhere. I don't have a record player, but this is kind of cool. This Rolling Stones set. I think I've heard about this. I've never actually seen it though. Reticular cover, that's pretty cool. Oh, behind it, we got a little Back to the Future trilogy. Got some Led Zeppelin down there. All right, guys, well, we're rolling out of Target. We're gonna head to another Target. So that Target was a good start. I know, I didn't find anything and most people are probably thinking, oh man, these snow drifts are so high, you can't see around them. Uh, most people might think, well, you didn't find anything, so why is that a good trip? Well, the reason that's a good trip is because that Target, which is usually like the worst, probably the worst Target in my area for uh, NECA figures and stuff like that. They hardly ever have anything. So the fact that they had what they had there which is probably the most NECA I've seen there in a very, very long time. Um, gives me hope that maybe one of these other stores, it'll be a good day and we'll actually find something good because they actually had a lot of kind of stuff there that like, I don't think I've really ever seen there. And I thought that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Like they had the Evil Dead too, which I thought about picking up. I personally, I have the other one. I like the other one a little bit better. I like the box one a little bit better and um so uh so yeah oops sorry guys there's a little bit slippery here um so yeah so we're gonna head to uh another target and see what they have there but yeah like i said it was a good start for that because uh that was more stock than it's ever been so gives me hope for other targets so we're gonna hit up a couple more including a target that i haven't been to in weeks so uh they're usually pretty stocked, so hopefully today they're stocked with some new stuff. So, all right, I'll see you guys at the next Target. Thing here, some spawn. They're kind of cool. I don't know if I've ever actually seen these before. Little Ninja Turtles. It's kind of cool. Other than that, they don't have. Uh, they don't have anything here. All right, let's see. Movies, movies. No. That's a cool cover. Uh, they got anything in the movies? Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope. All right, let's go on to the next target. All right, time for a quick Walmart stop. All right, let's see what do we got here. Ooh, this Robocop, this was in here last time. That's pretty cool. A possibility. We got some King Kong, some Gremlins, some Ash, Ghostface, some more Ghostface. I should start collecting these. Those are kind of cool with this cool little bag. Oh, hey, look at this. I've seen this once before. I think it's like 50 bucks. It's cool, but it's not $50. Cool, that's for sure. That seems to be it on the neck of stuff over here. That's from Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Some more Gremlins knock up here. Lots of Funko Pop, stuff like that. Oh, look at this. Got Metallica here. And the many faces of Metallica. Must be a cover album, only $7. Must suck. Star Trek Prodigy, I've never heard of this, but that is a pretty cool slipcover. 
Um, I do kind of want to see this, but not for $25 on Blu-ray. This is really cool, though. You have the Halloween Ends 4K edition. I think it's a special edition. It's just, and it opens up, and you have that cool picture there. Mine does not have that. That must have been a Walmart exclusive. That's cool, but I'm not going to rebuy it for $28 just to have that. Uh, and they do have this, which is awesome. You don't see a lot of Shout Factory stuff here at Walmart. I heard this looks really good. I might have to pick this out. It's a pretty cool release. Look at this, guys. They do have these uh, Valentine's Day slip covers. You have like more of your romantic type ones. Sorry, they're walking by with something big and uh, it's making a lot of noise. But look, guys, they do have these uh, romantic uh, uh, Valentine's Day slip covers, but then they also have like the horror ones too, which is really good. You got American Psycho, A Spin on Your Grave, Warm Bodies, Basic Instinct. You got Rosemary's Baby, which looks like the devil, which is awesome. Loving Monsters, that movie's really cool. Then you got these two My Bloody Valentines, which are awesome. They're both, they're all, all on DVD, but they're still really cool. And then you have this one over here. I think the My Bloody Valentines are probably my personal favorite. Those are really cool. You got What Lies Beneath down there. Better Off Dead. I just watched that movie the other day. Not really a horror movie, but it is kind of a love movie. Um, but yeah, that's uh, about it. They do have this, which is really cool. They got the Friday the 13th with the Leticular. Next Friday is actually Friday the 13th, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for that, but this is a cool release right here. I like that I have those all on Blu-ray already. I don't need that, but it's still kind of cool with the Leticular cover. And that might be about it. They got a little Charlie Brown Valentine's Day here. That's about it. I think we're going to move on to the next store. There's not too much else here. All right, guys. Well, we're leaving Walmart. It kind of sucked. I was, I filmed, and then I had to kind of, I kind of went back to check something and realized that every time I hit the button, I was actually turning my camera off. So I must have accidentally turned it on, and I didn't look. And so when I went to go hit the button, which I thought I was hitting the record, I was actually turning the turning the camera off. Oh my God, I can't even get out of here. Jeez, that section definitely needed to be plowed. Um, couldn't even get out of that parking lot there. Um, so every time I was hitting the button, which I thought I was turning the camera on, I was actually turning it off. So all the footage I had was just like, me holding my phone to my side and basically filming the floor as I was walking around finding something to film. I'd find something to film and I'd actually turn the camera off. So I had to go back through and uh, somewhat re-record some of the stuff. I don't, I didn't redo everything because I was like, ah, screw it. But some of the main things that I kind of wanted to show off in the video, I went back and I had to re-record. That's not the first time that has happened, by the way. And uh, it's kind of annoying. I need to do a better job of checking to make sure it's actually recording before I start talking and showing stuff. But uh, nonetheless, I did get a few of the things that I did want to show off reshot before I left. So last time I did it, I didn't realize I did that till after I got home and started editing the video. So that sucked. Uh, but anyway, we're heading to another Target. And uh, yeah, we're heading to another Target. And I don't know, I might hit up maybe a Goodwill, go see if I can find some cheap movies or something. I'm hoping I can at least find one NECA that I'm looking for. Either the ETs, any of the ETs. Um, I'm still looking for the Halloween 3 Toonie Terrors, which I still have not seen in Minnesota. And those have been out since August, September, something like that. Maybe even October, somewhere around there. They've been out for a while. I found them once in Florida, but didn't buy them because I didn't have enough room to bring it back in my bag. But I have not seen them here, so I'm looking for that. I'm looking for any of the ETs. Um, I think there's an American Werewolf in London Toonie Terror I wouldn't mind uh, getting my hands on. And there's like one or two other things too that I haven't seen anywhere in Minnesota. So hopefully I can find something. And uh, if not, at least I got that Coraline uh, movie. I can at least unbox it and show off that steel book because it's a pretty awesome steel book. So let's head to the next target. This is usually, usually pretty good. I ran down the streets. This is the first time in the first place I saw this night. Ran down the street when I was looking for that. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've never actually seen that before. 
Might have to pick that up. Let's see what we got going on here. Hellraiser, Hellraiser, the mummy. The mummy, they have one of these, which I've kind of been burned on in the past, but it's been a while. I might get that. Oh, they got the mummy accessory pack. I've never actually seen this. It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, they charge you just as much for this as they do for the actual, like, mummy character. But I don't have this one. I have the other mummy, but I don't think I actually have the black and white one. So that's a possibility. So you got that here. Oh, look at this. I've been looking for this. I'm picking that up for sure. Nice. I've been looking for that for a while. You know, the Bride of Frankenstein. Which I've been looking for. Let's see. You got some Frankenstein over there. You got these little Halloween figures here. You got Alien. Bride of Frankenstein. I might have to get that. I need that for my collection. On Friday the 13th. I don't need that. Don't need that. More it. It. King Kong. King Kong. Turtles. Turtles. So they don't have any of the ETs, but they definitely have some stuff I've been looking for. So I'm happy with that. That's pretty awesome. So I'm getting this for sure. And I may possibly get this as well. I'm not sure about dropping stuff. And I'm not sure about that. That's possible. Not gonna get the run DMC. These are kind of cool though. You got little Casey Jones there. You got the mummy. Child's play. Oh, those are pretty cool. I think this Predator is new. I saw this at the other Target and I didn't film it. And I kind of regretted not filming it, but there it is. It's kind of hard to see, but it's still kind of cool. I think that's a new Predator. Got some Halloween. Uh, yeah, some other Predator. But yeah, they definitely got some, got some cool stuff here. This accessory set is pretty cool, but... I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks, and it just seems like you don't get very much for that price, but otherwise they do have quite a bit of stuff here. I'm gonna go check their other section. I think this Target actually has another NECA section, so I'm gonna go check that and see if they got anything else. So I was right, they do have another uh, another NECA section. I got this up here, they still got this. They got the Creep Show here. Finally, they didn't have that last time I was here. Oh, look at this. We got to show us off. Somebody decided to open these up. So there's the Wolfman. This here. The, the mummy. Frankenstein. I don't know who decided to open those up, but... I don't know. Then they got uh, some Frankenstein. They got the Hunchback. Uh, Donatello, which is a really cool piece. I already have that, though. We got some more plush. I have this huge Michael Myers. I have the smaller version of this. I don't know if I really need one that big, but it's still kind of cool to show off. More Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and that's about it over here. Now uh, they do have this, which is awesome. So this is the exact same thing as this, except for the NECA version they have up there, which I already have. I've had that one for a while. It's still kind of cool to show off, but that might be about it. All right, guys, so we're just leaving Target. We're gonna head to one more Target. We're gonna head to the one that's closest to my house. Uh, that place had some good stuff. Um, I did end up passing on the uh, Toonie Terrors Pinhead, um, even though I'd never actually seen that one before and I'd love to get it. They had like five of them there, but none of them really uh, had um, that good of packaging. Like they looked fine from afar, but then once you got closer, they were kind of just tore up and really, really did not look all that good. And I just, so I just passed. But I did get that Toonie Terrors Halloween 3 because I've been looking for that thing forever. That's the first time I've actually seen that in Minnesota. I did see it in Florida back in October when I was there. But like I said, I didn't pick it up because I didn't have enough room. And that is the first time I've seen that. So I was very excited. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get around this semi. He's kind of driving like a jackass. Um... But I did find that there, so that was pretty awesome. So I did pick that up. I'll show that off when we get home. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go to one more Target and let's see what we can find. Maybe they'll find some ET. I would like to find just one of those ETs. That would make this 
first 2023 NECA hunting trip. Man, the sun is right in my eyes. Um, the first 2023 NECA hunting trip uh, complete. If I could just find one of those ETs. So I already found one thing I was looking for. So let's see, let's head to one more target. Look at how far these cars are parked out. Like you can't even fit a car and people down here because there's so much snow packed up on the sides that people are parked halfway out. You can only fit like one car uh, down the lane at a time. It's ridiculous. And this target looks like it is packed because I have to park all the way out here. So I was going to park right there, but then some jackass left their uh, cart in the middle of the parking spot. You know. Ugh, look at all this snow. <laughs> it's like these it's just mounds and mounds and mounds of snow. It's crazy. Alright, well let's see. We're gonna park right up here. We'll just bypass that spot right there. We'll just park right here. Alright. We're here! Go find some ET. All right, guys, they don't have too much. I mean, they have some new stuff, but it's not really anything I'm looking for. But you know what they do have, which is really cool, it's not NECA. But that's kind of cool. The Batman animated series figure. I kind of like that. They got some thing, some more thing up there. They got a bunch of Toonie Terrors, but they're not any of the ones that I'm looking for. Although, actually, I don't think I actually own this. And I didn't end up getting that pinhead. I might actually have to end up getting this. I don't think I own this. So I am actually going to maybe pick this up. But they don't have any ET, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this. I thought this was kind of cool. The Beastie Boys. Alright All right, guys, well we're leaving Target. We're heading back home. And uh, I gotta say, Target made me a little upset today. So I went and I got... Um, I went and looked at the NECA figures, and then I went and I was gonna go get the uh, I was gonna go get some chips. They had they had some chips there that I wanted, and I went over there, and their sign up on the thing said that they were listed as two for six dollars, and I went oh, okay, that's a good deal. So I grabbed them, grabbed two of them, two for six dollars. I went up to the thing, and they they rang up as two for seven dollars. And so then I said to the lady, because she was right there, you know, I was like, uh, you know, your, your sign back there says these are two for six dollars and they're ringing up as two for seven dollars. And she was just like, oh, and I was like, OK, you know, your sign says two for six dollars. It's like, oh, yeah, they're two for seven. And I go, OK. And, and I was just like, and then, then at this point, I mean, it was only a dollar. And there was people starting to line up. I wasn't going to sit there and throw a fit over a dollar. But I basically just said to her, I was like, okay, well, if you're not going to honor the price that it's listed there as, then you should probably take the price down and make sure that it's the right tag. Because you're not willing to do that. And that's fine. But don't be putting up the wrong tag then if you're not willing to, to, uh, to honor the price that's on the tag. You know what I mean? Like I, the company I work for, I'm not gonna say who I work for, but the company I work for, I mean, hell, half the time they'd probably give it to you for free. I mean, and I'm not even asking for it for free, but I'm asking just honor the price that you have it listed there. You messed up, sorry, whatever. You should still honor it. That's the way you do it. And it's just kind of annoying. Like she just was not willing to do that at all. <laughs> just like, okay. Would have taken you two seconds to plug it into the system, but that's fine. So I paid, you know, I paid two for seven. Like I said, it was a dollar. I wasn't going to throw a fit over it. But at the same time, it's just it's just really annoying. It's like if you're not going to put the right sign out and you mess up, then you need to honor that price instead of just, a, oh, no, it's this price. I was like, all right, whatever. So I don't know. Disappointing, you target. You mess up. You got to take responsibility for that. That's all right, though. It's okay. Uh, I did find some cool stuff at Target today, so... Uh, I don't totally hate you, Target. Just that situation was kind of annoying. You should have honored that price. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else about it. Uh, we're going to go home, and I'll show off the, uh, what did I get, two, three things today, and we'll uh, 
we'll check them out and that's going to be about it for today's video guys i've been kind of driving around all not all day but i have some other stuff i gotta do so i can only dedicate so much time to doing NECA hunting and i think i have reached that limit i still have to go home and edit this today so um yeah all right i'll see you guys back at the house all right guys well, we're back at the house it's several hours later i actually completely forgot when i got home to record this end part and show off what i picked up um and first of all uh i picked up an item that i realized when i got home i already had i didn't think i did but i did and it's the uh, neca tuning terrors the minor from my bloody valentine it's a very cool piece i did not think i had this one but uh apparently i did so I'll just have to return it. That's okay. And then I love all these back ones here. They always do a little like backdrop if you want to uh, display it. Or maybe I'll keep this. Maybe I'll open this one up and actually display it and keep my other one I have in package. I don't know. We'll see. But I have that one there. Uh, then next I picked up Coraline on 4K from Shout Factory. I was very surprised to uh, actually see this one in stores. I hardly ever see... Um, I see sometimes, but I hardly ever usually see Shout Factory and Scream Factory releases in there. So I was glad to get this. It's a gorgeous steelbook, and I heard this movie looks fantastic in 4K. And then the big thing I got today was the Halloween 3 Toonie Tears. Like I said, in the car right before I got to that Target, I, this is one of the things I was definitely looking for. So I definitely, uh, let's see if I can get it here. There we go. Might be a little better. So I was really glad to... Uh, to get these three guys, uh, the Halloween three trick or treaters from Toonie Terrors. You kind of look at the back, it's kind of a cool back as well. And so, yeah, I was glad to uh, definitely add this one to the collection. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That concludes the first NECA hunting and, well, kind of. 4k purchasing video of 2023 thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up let's know you guys like what i'm doing like share comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much as always you guys are amazing and thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye